always fresh every day. You're watching Fast Lane Daily. We are one week away from the LA Auto Show, and that can only mean one thing. Thanksgiving is this Thursday. Woo! Ian, you psyched to eat some turkey? I know I am. All right, yes, that's true. Thanksgiving is Thursday, but more importantly, we've got the first details on what cars will be making their public debut at the show next week. Cadillac has released their production version of the CTS Coupe, and BMW has revealed the new 2011 5 Series. Also news on a potential IPO for Tesla, and the Audi A7 does in fact actually exist. How do we know? Well, we've got photos in the internet rumor mill. All that plus some car porn that includes a mixture of Schumacher and go-karts. What's up everybody? And welcome to the 730th episode of Fast Lane Daily. 730. I'm gonna clap it up. You guys are happy that I am. We're starting off with the 2011 Cadillac CTS Coupe. In January 2008, we saw the CTS Coupe concept roll out at the Detroit Auto Show with Bob Lutz motivating the crowd like a college football mascot. Now after two years on our internet rumor mill, we've got the first production photos of the car. The car comes in a 2 plus 2 configuration, meaning there are two seats up front and two in the rear. Power comes from the standard 3.6 liter direct injection V6 found in the CTS sedan. The interior will get the enhancements of touch point door handles like that in the Corvette. The car will come in manual or automatic and should be going on sale sometime late next year. The best part though is that GM has confirmed that they are working on a V version of the coupe. Now as James May would say, that gives me a good feeling in my special spot. Don't get that joke? Go watch yesterday's episode of Top Gear. He didn't use those words exactly, but uh, it was funny. And in other car debut news, the 2011 BMW F10 5 Series has been revealed. Well, it has to you, but not us. This is one of those weird situations where because we shoot so early in the morning, we sometimes miss out. So at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, BMW will be revealing the highly anticipated new Fiverr. If you want to watch the reveal, go to this website on the screen. Here it is right there. Go to that, you have to type it in or in the description. Anyway, that's 2 p.m. today, November 23rd. The good news is that not only did BMW reveal some teaser shots of the car over the weekend, like here, here, and uh, here, we also have the real press photos which also leaked onto the web over the weekend. They are magazine scans, so we apologize for the quality. Looks pretty good though, right? I mean, I dig it. We'll hook you up tomorrow with all the facts, figures, and technology about the car. But what do you think about the F10 5? Better than the previous generation? What about the E39 5 Series from earlier in the decade? What about you leaving a comment and letting us know? What about that? How about you do it? Now or after the show. And have you ever been on the street and a car flew by you and you were like, man, I didn't even hear that thing coming? Well, that's because it might have been a Tesla. Or a hybrid. Ian, you're not helping. That that's one. what she said. Again, wrong time to use that's what she said, but Moving on. The all-electric sports car company is planning on going with a public option with an initial public offering. That sounded weird. Anyway, also known as an IPO. Tesla Motors has already gotten 465 million smackers in low interest loans from the US Department of Energy and going public can only help that number grow. Potentially this could allow a huge amount of investment and fundraising for Tesla. Although it could also bring on a lot of scrutiny as well. Tesla hasn't said anything was official yet, but it's obvious capitalizing on the whole environmental enthusiasm in this country would be a smart business move. In other news, the popular electric scooter company Razor is planning on challenging Tesla with their new Scooter Roadster. That's just terrible. And not even real. We have to, we have to fire our Photoshop department. That was hard. And in the IRM or internet rumor mill, someone at Audi has just done something very, very bad. It doesn't involve a Nazi sect act. Wow, we went there. Nazi sect act, wow. Anyway, leaked online were these spy photos of the Audi A7, except there's one problem. They're not typical spy shots. It appears that these could be photos of the production ready model. From the pictures, we see a stance similar to the A5, except lower to the ground and elongated. The B and C pillars also seem to be changed as well. Aiming to compete with other four-seaters, such as the Mercedes CLS, and Porsche Panamera, we could be looking at the next best thing. 
unlike an ex-Audi employee dealing with the next worst thing, unemployment and the newly updated LinkedIn profile. Ouch. Well, thanks to worldcarfans.com for the photos. Next up, we got some car porn in tribute to Michael Schumacher kicking major ass this weekend in Las Vegas at the Supercarts USA Super Nationals. Here's what it's like to try to chase him down. That's up right after the break. Subscribing costs nothing. Daily, not monthly. And our cars actually move. Fastlane Daily is fast and fresh and here to stay. Pretty impressive. You know that video was shot this summer during his training. I guess Shuey still got it. That's what she said. See now, uh, if, if a chick if a chick was like, that's she still got it, and then uh, that's what, that's where it works. Anyway, maybe maybe he's ready for an F1 return next season. Who knows? But stick around tomorrow. We'll have more info on the BMW 5 Series and news from Spain on an Audi RS6 smuggling more drugs than you could ever imagine. All right. Well, that about does it for Fast Lane Daily. I'm Derek D, it's Monday, and if you're wondering about how that date went with me and Trish, really good. Okay, maybe, maybe it didn't happen, but this chick I know went to the movies with her, and apparently Trish said she liked the way my hair looked that day, and, and so, you know what, how do you just turn this camera off? I forget it, I don't even know. We're starting off with the 2011 Cadillac CTS Coupe. In January 2008, we saw the CTS Coupe concept roll out as a Detroit Auto Show, Bob Lutz. Uh, the CTS Cube, dude. Crazy. Ow, we're living in the fast lane, baby.